Hello 3D fans, my name is Xenathan and today I will tell you a little bit about volumetrics in Blender. Volumetrics means fog or atmosphere in a render that adds realism to that render and uh, you can do that relatively easy but it's quite different from the way you do it in other render engines like Redshift or Octane and I struggled a little bit uh, with it at first because it was so different. You have to put a cube around your scene and give it a volumetric shader and uh, I will show you how this works. Okay, here is a scene that I put together with some objects and assets from Kitbash 3D and I already have a, have a camera set up um, and I also already have an area light above left and that tree is just so I have a little break up in the light, some gobo lighting, you can see it uh, down here with this patches on the floor and yeah, I, I thought, how would I do that? And I had this surplus tree and just moved it up there and it worked immediately. So I kept it that way. Okay. The first we have to do is to put a cube around the whole scene. I will zoom out a little bit and I already have that cube in my scene and I will activate it. You again can see the gobos here on the cube. And now we have to add a volume shader to that cube. Or let's do something else first. Let's make the world background black. Okay. I guess you know how this is done. You go to the shader editor, go to world, and then you just make the background black. Okay, so let's go to the volume cube and uh, let's go to the camera view here. And we will now change the shader editor to object. Okay, the volume cube does not have any material. We add one and call it volume. Okay, we get rid of the principal BSDF shader and we add a volume scatter. The volume scatter was changed a lot in Blender 4.5 and we now have multiple different options here and um, from my experience the best one for fog and fog light like volumes is the mie or, or me or however it is pronounced and uh, we take that volume output and plug it into the volume input and immediately we see with some some lighting, but of course the at the moment the density is way too thick and we have to tune this down a lot. And let's say 0 0.003 should be a good value and we change the diameter to 7.5. Okay, and Immediately you can see there is some atmosphere and you can see God rays coming from the area light. It's, it's broken from the tree I put in front of it and that already looks quite nice. But we can do better here. And for that we duplicate that volume scatter and set it to Harvey Greenstein Steam. And um, let's put this over here. We add a mix shader and put the first one, the first volume scatter in the first shader input and the second volume scatter in the second input. And now you only get more atmosphere and more scattering, but that is not what I want. I want to break up the second one a little to generate a more fog-like effect and for that we add a noise we add a noise texture 
we put set it to 4D and we change some values here, the W to 6.5 and the scale to let's say 6.3, the detail to 5.3. We can keep the roughness and the lacunarity and the distortion. Okay, and now we can plug the factor into the, the color and you can see a little difference and we can also we can try the color into color okay what we will do is two things the first is we will add a color ramp Add a color ramp here and now we will plug the factor into the factor and we will make the white part of the color ramp way smaller let's try something like that and now we add the node wrangler texture coordinates pressing ctrl t on the noise texture okay and now we see something happened the second shader is gone almost completely and so we do something else and also plug the color into the density and immediately you see foggy wisps we still have the god rays from the from the first volume scatter and from the light but we additionally now have some nice fog in the sky and now with the mix shader factor we can tweak this and make it more or less pronounced um, you can get rid of it almost completely or, or completely if you pull this over to the first volume scatter then we have the first volume scatter back but experiment with this how the more you tune in the more fog you get and uh, you could go for something that you like and that's already it basically um, when you render this you can use the denoiser but i would try to render this without the denoiser because it looks way better and the denoiser takes away a lot of detail from from the fog and atmosphere and so you better have to increase the samples i rendered this with the 4069 samples and that looked quite okay and there's always the option to denoise later in the software you do the post work with photoshop for example or you can use uh, special denoising software like uh, Topaz Photo AI or something like that. Okay, yeah, that was basically it. You could see how easy it is to add some nice volume metrics to your renders. And I will now do a render of this and uh, show it to you. But this concludes this video.